it's horrific to watch. Good, good. Albuquerque Police Lieutenant Greg Brackle shooting one of his own. Oh, that was Jacob. In tense moments to what should have been a routine drug bust, watch just minutes earlier. That's when Brackle moves in. He speeds through this McDonald's parking lot, gets out, hands up, hands up, approaches the vehicle when all of a sudden, good, good. Brackle fires several times before retreating behind a nearby vehicle. It takes him a few seconds to realize what he's done. Oh, that was Jacob. Come on, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know it was you. Come here. Come here, Jacob. Jacob. Jacob is shot. Brackle is in complete shock. You hear him crying as he pulls Jacob out of the car and tells him to hold on. Jacob, are you there, man? You're good. You're good. Jacob! Investigators say Brackle never attended the briefing for this operation. Grant was shot eight times, bullets hitting most of his vital organs. Several surgeries later, and he is still recovering from his injuries. Take a man in the room. I thought you were a bad guy. Well, let's start with Detective Grant. He survived. He was critically injured. He has had multiple surgeries. He is still physically recovering at home. Now, he sued the city following this incident. This all happened back in January of 2015, but we just are getting this video, which is why it's making news today. And just this week, there was a settlement reached in that civil suit. Six and a half million dollars awarded to Detective Grant. The city also agreed to pay all of his medical bills for the rest of his life. And he has has been approved now to medically retire from the Albuquerque Police Department. As for Lieutenant Brockle, he too has retired. There was an investigation done by a citizen police oversight agency who had recommended that Lieutenant Brockle be fired, by, but by the time that recommendation came down, he had already retired. There is still a criminal open case here, though. The investigation just wrapped up and has been now handed over to the prosecutor's office, who will ultimately determine whether Lieutenant Brockle faces any criminal charges, Pamela, so we'll be watching.